Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com, news on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. This podcast was sponsored by cryptocurrency payment technology Flip, a creation of FitPay Inc., a leading provider of cutting-edge payment technology and a subsidiary of NextID, traded on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol NXTD. Learn more about how to order Flip at fliptopay.com. And Crypto Corner is also sponsored by Genesis Blockchain Technologies, or GBT. GBT is the first mobile decentralized currency exchange for global traders. You can download the app at the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Look for the Genesis Exchange and Wallet. The crypto market reached its lowest point in 10 months over the weekend and remains so as we open the week with a total market capitalization of $195 billion U.S., according to data from CoinMarketCap. Ethereum has continued its downtrend and is trading at just $195, the first time it's been below $200 in over a year. Most of the top 100 coins listed by market capitalization are in the red. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission announced yesterday that it was suspending trading in the securities Bitcoin Tracker 1, ticker symbol CXBTF, and Ether Tracker 1, ticker symbol CETHF, until September 20th. The rationale for suspending the two exchange-traded notes, or ETNs, issued by Sweden's XBT provider was that there was a, quote, lack of current, consistent, and accurate information that resulted in confusion among market participants. Quoting from the announcement, the commission is of the opinion that the public interest and the protection of investors require a suspension of trading in the securities of the above-quoted company, end quote. The Winklevoss brothers announced via Medium that their digital asset exchange Gemini was launching a stablecoin called the Gemini Dollar. The coin, built on the Ethereum network, is pegged to the U.S. dollar and has approval from the New York State Department of Financial Services. From the press release, quote, We are excited to bring the Gemini dollar to the market and provide a crucial link between the traditional banking system and the new rapidly growing crypto economy. With the Gemini dollar, we continue to deliver on our mission to build the future of money and help transform the global financial system to enable possibilities previously unimaginable, end quote. According to a report from Business Insider, investment bank Citigroup has developed a product called a Digital Asset Receipt, or DAR, that enables investors to trade cryptocurrencies without having to directly own them. Sources say that the DAR works similarly to an American Depository Receipt, a security that represents a security from a non-U.S. company, in that it utilizes a third-party custodian. Quote, The foreign stock is held by a bank, which then issues the depository receipt. In this case, the cryptocurrency is held by a custodian, and the DAR is issued by Citigroup. And the Australian Financial Review reports that Singapore crypto exchange giant KuCoin has invested three million Australian dollars into domestic exchange Bitcoin Australia. The move positions KuCoin to expand internationally, according to the piece. Bitcoin Australia CEO Rupert Hackett explained the relationship between the two companies. Quote, KuCoin is designed for speculative investors and offers 300 different cryptocurrencies to buy and sell and it doesn't do any onboarding. It will effectively create an exchange for intermediate and advanced traders while we are a mass market approach, making us quite synergistic. We'll build the consumer-friendly retail experience for people entering the market while supporting KuCoin for advanced traders, end quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss in investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music. 
For disclosure purposes, Next ID is a PR news and social media featured company on InvestRadio.com.